G'day guys, Scotty Lyons here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. Today's segment is proudly brought to you by all our sponsors. Yes, it's early morning and I'm down on the rocks. Today I'm using a method called potholing. That's a method where we walk along the rocks and we fish into different washes and gutters. It's a lot of fun, so let's see how we go. Beautiful little drummer. These guys are fantastic fun in the white water and they love a prawn bait. The gear you need for potholing is fairly simple and basic. I've got a nice Shimano outfit there and 6 to 10 kilo. Um, I'm using a 6 kilo line, Snyder mo uh, Mono there instead of the braid. I find the Mono is a lot better off the rocks. A couple of bobby corks, a little pair of snips for cutting your, your line and rigging up. I've got some fluoro carbon there in case the fish are fussy. I find that quite good. A basic uh, tackle box with some double O balls, some number one hooks and some and, and O balls. Uh, most importantly is a good pair of plates. Now these are fantastic on the rocks, you won't slip around. Uh, Safety is fairly important on the rocks. A good bait bucket for carrying your bait and of course a wet weather jacket. I'm sure the cook can come up with something very similar, nice white chunky meat, and uh, show you what you can do with drummer. So what I'm going to do is just score the blue eye cod. Okay, I'm just going to season the fish, both sides. So I've got some beautiful lime pepper, both sides of the fish. So now it's nicely seasoned. We're just going to get our pan nice and hot. We're going to sear it, both sides, and then we're going to pop it in the oven. So the best way to put the fish in is to actually put the fish away from you so you don't splash yourself, so, like so. 
and exactly the same with the second piece. What I'm going to do next guys is just flip the fish over onto the other side, give it a couple of minutes. I don't want to overcook it, I just want it to be lightly seared because it's going to be finished in the oven. Beautiful. So I'll just give that a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to pop it onto our tray. Now I've put a little bit of baking paper on there. It just helps stop the fish from sticking when we pop it in the oven. Okay, so it's time to make my sauce. So what I'm going to do is put some oil in the pan. Now I've got some beautiful eschalots here. We're just going to put some eschalots in. I've got some beautiful bird's eye chilies just to give it a little bit of heat. In with our garlic. So now we can add our tomatoes. What I've got here is some heirloom tomatoes. So basically they are seeds from yesteryear that people have found and they've started to grow these old fashioned tomatoes. So I'm just going to let that break down now for around about five minutes. You don't need to cook it for too long. And then I'm going to add some olives. The tomatoes have broken down beautifully. Time to add my olives. What this will do is just give it a little bit of saltiness to the dish. Okay, so it's time to top the fish. So what we do is get a lovely bit of this beautiful tomato. And it's such a simple dish. You can do this at home, it's so easy. So the only thing I've got to do now is top it with my pistachio and herb crust, which I made earlier. It's just basically pistachios, some sourdough in there, and also a little bit of parmesan cheese. So don't be shy with the topping because what this does, it soaks up all the juices from the tomato. It is absolutely sensational. And also gives it an absolutely fantastic crust. So all we've got to do now is pop this in the oven for around about five or six minutes. And it's going to be absolutely sensational. Okay, so you can see it's got a beautiful crust on here. I'm going to take the fish off. Some olive oil over the top, around the side, and a couple of drops of balsamic reduction for a little bit of colour and garnish. So there we go, folks. Real simple dish that you can do at home. Doesn't need a lot of preparation and really, really healthy. Well, special thanks, guys, to all our partners who joined us, and I hope you guys enjoyed these clips. And don't forget to join us every week here at The Hook and the Cook, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And we'll see you every Friday here at The Hook and the Cook. Cheers, guys.